Hollywood can be a ruthless industry, and there are many celebrities who spend decades of their lives trying to succeed. There are some who decide to eventually call it quits. Some do it because they're fed up with investing so much time and energy into an unforgiving industry, while others just want to move on to something new. Let's learn about the celebrities who left Hollywood for normal jobs. Jack Gleason Jack Gleason began studying acting as a child and performed regularly in youth theater productions. He began appearing in feature films when he was 10, with his first role in the 2002 film Reign of Fire. He also acted in Batman Begins, Shrooms, A Shine of Rainbows, and had a lead role in the 2010 film All Good Children. But he remains a star because he appeared as Jeffrey Baratheon in Game of Thrones. This remains the character audiences most identify him with. In 2020, he appeared in two episodes of the BBC sitcom Out of Her Mind. It came as a surprise to many when he decided to put acting aside. He decided to pursue a degree in philosophy and theology at Trinity College Dublin. He's also working in a small theater company. Perhaps one day we'll see him back in showbiz, but for now he has stated that acting was a hobby and never intended to pursue it full time. Before we tell you more about the celebrities who left Hollywood for normal jobs, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Factsverse for more. Danny Lloyd If you've seen the fantastic horror film The Shining, you'll remember Danny Lloyd, who played Danny Torrance. He was chosen for the role because of his ability to concentrate for an extended period. Perhaps he also had a knack for saying red rum in the most frightening manner possible. Danny wasn't actually told he was appearing in a horror film. He was told he was appearing in a drama about a family stuck in a hotel. It seems Danny will forever be remembered as Danny Torrance. The only other time he acted was in a 1982 TV movie, Will, G. Gordon Liddy, in which he portrayed a young G. Gordon Liddy. He made a cameo appearance in the 2019 film Dr. Sleep, which is a sequel to The Shining. He decided to stop acting and become an associate professor of biology. Kevin Jonas The Jonas Brothers were a phenomenon at the height of their careers. They eventually broke up and went their separate ways, continuing to work in Hollywood and pursue their show business dreams. But unlike his brothers, Kevin Jonas decided to pursue a different path. He mainly focuses on creating apps. One of his most popular apps is called Yude. Through this app, you can order food to be delivered to your home. What makes it unique is that you can read the restaurant's Yelp reviews before placing your order. He and his wife Danielle have also released a children's book called There's a Rock Concert in My Bedroom. Freddie Prince Jr. Freddie Prince Jr. had a prolific acting career in the 90s and 2000s. He became known for his roles in films like I Know What You Did Last Summer and its sequel. His other popular roles were in films such as She's All That, Summer Catch, Scooby-Doo, and Jack and Jill vs. The World. He's also voiced characters in films such as Mass Effect Paragon Lost and Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. He also had a few bit parts and recurring roles on TV, including starring in his own short-lived sitcom, Freddy. Today, he's focused mainly on writing. He published a cookbook called Back to the Kitchen in 2016. Cooking has always been his first love, and he almost pursued a career in the culinary arts before acting. While we might see him act on occasion, it seems he's more interested in spending time in the kitchen for now. Jeff Cohen Remember Chunk from The Goonies? He was played by Jeff Cohen, who arguably created one of the most memorable child characters in American cinema history. Jeff had experience appearing on game shows and TV movies, but it was his role in The Goonies that made him a star. He was so committed to the role that he hid the fact that he had chicken pox, afraid it might lose him the role. Apparently, if you rewatch the film, you'll notice he did in fact have chicken pox, which were visible during the famous truffle shuffle scene. Despite enjoying acting and making a name for himself with the Goonies, he decided to give up acting as an adult. He pursued a law degree and is now a practicing attorney. He serves as an entertainment lawyer and also writes legal-related articles for prominent publications. Peter Ostrom As a child, you probably loved Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. You probably wondered what happened to the young Charlie Bucket. Charlie was played by Peter Ostrom. His role in that film was the only one he ever appeared in. He decided not to pursue acting after this film. While he enjoyed the experience, he had other ambitions. For several years, he didn't feel comfortable talking about his role publicly, but he had a change of heart in the 90s. He regularly gives interviews and talks about his role and how he feels about the film. 
he decided to pursue a career as a veterinarian. After he finished filming Willy Wonka, his family had bought a horse. He grew attached to the horse and became very interested in how to care for it. He's now a practicing veterinarian in New York. Karen Parsons You'll remember Karen Parsons as playing Hilary Banks in The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. The character was so popular, she also played Hilary in an episode of Blossom and an episode of Out All Night. She mostly had bit parts in other TV shows like The John Larroquette Show, Melrose Place, and Static Shock. She had lead roles in the short-lived TV sitcoms Lush Life and The Job. She also had a short film career. She had roles in films like Death Spa, Class Act, Major Pain, and 13 Moons. She's moved away from acting for the time being, but is still involved in creative pursuits. She created Sweet Blackberry, which is a series of animated films that showcase lesser-known black heroes. She's also published a few children's books. But for most of us, she'll always be Hilary Banks. Nikki Blonsky You might remember Nikki Blonsky from the 2007 film version of Hairspray. She studied theater as a teen and appeared in many school plays. These included Les Mis, Kiss Me Kate, and Carmen. She also grew up loving the original Hairspray film directed by John Waters. She auditioned for the remake and won the role of Tracy Turnblad. She received lots of media attention for her role and praise for her performance. Following that, she continued to act. She had a few bit parts in TV shows, but she mainly focused on independent films. She had roles in films such as Harold, Waiting for Forever, The English Teacher, and The Last Movie Star. Her most recent role was in the 2019 film Ghost in the Graveyard. She mainly focuses on her blogging series on social media. She's particularly active both on Instagram and TikTok. Mara Wilson Mara Wilson is easily one of the most famous child stars of the 90s. You'll remember her from films like Mrs. Doubtfire, Matilda, and A Simple Wish. She also had a few bit parts in TV shows in the 90s, like in Melrose Place, Pearl, and Batman Beyond. As an adult, she had a cameo in the series Broad City. She also had recurring roles in BoJack Horseman and Big Hero 6. She's also appeared in many web series, mostly making cameo appearances as herself. Most recently, she appeared as herself in the web series The George Lucas Talk Show in 2020. But she's mostly stepped away from acting to focus on her writing career. She wrote a successful autobiography about her life as a child actress. She's also involved with the charity project so You Are OK that focuses on helping teens who suffer from mental uh, illness. In addition, now, she's been outspoken about the really issues that child book. celebrities face. Now it's time to hear from you. Are you a fan of any of these celebs? Do you think they made the right choice in leaving Hollywood? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.